Hey, are you done with the file? Hi boss, I'm sorry but I'm not the one working on it. What do you mean you're not the one working on it? Who else works on high net worth clients files? You were given specific instructions to work on this file. I'm so sorry sir, but haven't come across the file. It's the first time I've heard about this file. That file was dropped on your table in your office. I drop it there myself. What's wrong with you these days? You've been lacking. You think I would have promoted you if I knew you'd turn out like this? First, you messed up a contract. And now you're misplaced a highly important file. What's come over you? I'm very sorry, sir. I promise to fix this. You better be fixing it, or else you're on your way to the streets. Just because you're my favorite doesn't mean I'm going to tolerate your excesses. Many interns are ready to take up your job. I won't get to that, sir. I'll get the file and work on it as soon as possible. You can count on me. Why exactly is your briefing like that of an intern? What? Don't act like you don't understand what I'm saying. You sent me an incomplete brief. I promise you, sir, that briefing was sent intact this morning. I worked on it myself, and I can assure you that I proofed it before sending it to you. Well, it doesn't seem so. This is what you sent? Oops, no way, sir. There is certainly a mix-up somewhere. This is clearly from your email. Except you mean to tell me that someone else has access to your email? Seraphine, are you being reckless? These are classified information. Don't think I can take your shit anymore. You really need to get your act together. Fix this mess today. This is the height of incompetence. This is your last strike. Hey sis. Hi. Checked you're in your office. You're not in your seat. Yeah, I stepped outside. Couldn't handle the heat again. What does that mean? I don't know what's going on, but my boss has been cranky today. He's complained about everything I've done all day. In fact, I think I might be sanctioned because I'm still yet to find a particular file. Oh, that's serious. What are you going to do? I'll just find a file and get a way to earn his trust back. I don't want him to stay mad at me. That's the last thing any employee needs to be, back in the books of their boss. So what, are you going to come back? I don't know for now. I think being absent from work isn't also a good thing for your situation. You're right. I'm going to head back immediately. Plus, I needed to sign some documents. Why? We don't work in the same department. Plus, I'm not your supervisor. But you're my sister. Oh. Beverly, this is work, not family. We're even lucky that my boss made an exception for us. Otherwise, siblings aren't meant to work together. Technically, my brains got me the job. Let's just say that we're too intrigued and they couldn't resist this bright star. So they had to make an exception. You're not the only star in the room. Be that as it may, it's a good thing I get to work with my sister. Your department needs to help us. Your department needs to help up. Your department needs to help us with some documentation on the oil business. Okay. I'll be back in the office soon. I'll holler at you when I step in. Okay, thanks. See you later. Hey boss, I just got a letter of suspension. Hyper logged off all my official accounts. The letter says gross misconduct and fraud. I don't understand what's going on. Oh, don't worry. You'll soon understand by the time you find yourself in prison. You still think you can continue to fool me with this whole ignorance stuff? How could I have been stupid not to have seen through your fakeness? You've duped the company of a huge sum. I'm very confused about the whole situation, sir. I'm not capable of doing such. 
You or everyone knows this. Oh, shut up. How dare you think you can control me? You signed millions of dollars into an offshore account that has your signature on it. And you want me to believe you? Listen, fraud. You better start spilling out names before you take the fall alone. I didn't sign any documents without checking them. You know I'm a very thorough person. You were caught on camera signing those documents. I promise you, I don't know anything about those documents. You must think this is some sort of joke. I sent you this so you don't fucking fool yourself in the court of law. And that's about the only help you'll ever get from me. What? You need to help me, sir. I need the help more than you at this point. The company's been bought over, and I'm talking with some of the partners. They're only keen on retaining a few old members of staff. And there's a lot of pressure on me. This doesn't even look good and cannot jeopardize my job. There must be something you can do. You must think this is a joke. I haven't even seen the partners. I only spoke with one of them on the phone. Rumor has it that one of the partners is a staff. So you see, I'm in a tight corner here. Please, just investigate this. You should know I'll never do such. Don't bother me again. What's this I hear about you that you stole from your company? Um, I didn't steal any money. But that's not what I heard. Why are you not at work? It's just a mix-up that will soon get sorted out. You had better clean up your mess and don't jeopardize my child's job there. Wait, you're not bothered about me? All you care about is Beverly? Why should I care about a thief? You brought this upon yourself. What if my mother doesn't believe me? Who's going to believe me? Let's just hope they don't ask me to testify against you. Otherwise... I'll have to recount all your heist escapades. Heist? What are you talking about? Oh, Beverly told me about the shoplifting in high school. Plus, you were always stealing my cookies. You mistake childhood misdemeanor with the heist? You think because I took some cookies from my mother, it makes me a thief who's capable of stealing millions of dollars? Seriously? Theft isn't something you start overnight. It takes many years of practice. Wow. Did Beverly at least tell you that the shoplifting was because of her? You'll say anything to vindicate yourself. I just hope you get taught a lesson, but make sure my daughter stays out of your mess. Of course. I'll do that. I'll make sure your favorite child doesn't lose her job, even if it means I go to jail. That's smart of you. I hope you know how I got the job for her. No, you didn't. She's a smart girl on her own. I can't believe you're my mom. And I can't believe I burned the thief. But I'm glad that you're not my only child. I'll remember this. You should leave. Hi, Beverly. Hey, sis. I was about to reach out to you. Oh, I see. I am quite shocked that you would do such a thing. You've been the topic of discussion in the office since this morning. Everyone is shocked. But I didn't do it. I'm not sure that's what the management thinks. It doesn't look good at all. I don't know. I didn't sign such documents. My boss sent me footage where I was signing the documents. Remember what day it was? I was wearing my favorite dress that day. And the same day you asked me to sign some documents from your department. I hope those were not the documents I signed. I don't think I know what you're talking about. This is so low of you to think that I can frame you? Just own your shit for once. I know you wouldn't want me to go to jail, so tell me the truth. Huh? Like I freaking give a damn. You can rot in jail for all I care. You always think the world is yours. And the rest of us are here to serve you. Come on, sis. It's not a Disneyland where you get to wear the crowns forever. So, if it means framing you so that I can have my way, I've got no regrets. 
So my sister is jealous of me? You love to wallow in the pride of always being the first. Even when I'm the first child. After several years of trying to get a job, you got my dream job. Even after I sought after getting that job for five years. But I put in a good word for you. You got the job because of me. I got the job being your subordinate. I should have been the one working with the top executives. But guess who found her way there before me? My sister. I'm not the reason you've been slow. You just have been so dependent. Easy for you to say when you're always a star. My darling, I think your time is up. You can't always have the world at your fingertips. I'm the best lawyer in the office. So I'll be replacing you. No more competition. Seems you're the one competing with yourself because I haven't been competing with you. I hope your lies can be seen. Oops. You wish. Please don't add me to your visitor list when you go to jail. <laughs> Beverly. What is it this time? Are you dating my boss? <laughs> you just found out? So much for being smart. James and I have been dating for a long time now. Let's just say it was love at first sight. Wait, but how did you find out? Harper and HR told me. How could you? He's married. How do you think his wife will feel? Have you no decency? I don't care. So you had to bring him on board with your plan against me? Technically, no. He's just being blinded by love. You know, he doesn't have to always cross-check everything I do. And I fed him with some lies that you wanted to take his position. For the time, I said the wrong briefing via email, or when I took the documents from your table, he should have investigated. But I told him not to. It's being you. You've been the one sabotaging me. I trusted you, Beverly. I didn't always scrutinize you like I did to others. That's because you're stupid and too trusting. You think everyone is as naive as you. Darling, I'm a lot more in life than being behind you. So you think sleeping with my boss and getting me suspended will give you everything in life? It is the first step of so many great things. I hope the nemesis catches up with you. Maybe in the afterlife. <laughs> Hey, I'm already typing your retrenchment letter. I was more than glad that I asked James to allow me to type it. You don't want to see what's in the letter at all. For a lawyer, you suck at being up to date. Have you checked your email today? My emails can wait. I need to get rid of your leash. I think if you just checked your email, it will save you from the futile exercise you're about to embark on. What do you mean? Damn! There is a mix-up somewhere. Oh, darling, I can assure you that there isn't any mix-up. But I'm not the one on probation. I'm not the one who committed fraud. Well, that's not how I see it. Wait, how did she know about this? Let's just say I pay attention to details, especially when it comes to my business. But this isn't your business. You think so? For someone who claims my boss loves her, he should have told you he isn't the boss anymore. He hasn't been the boss for the past six months. You're just an aggrieved staff. That email is a mix-up. I'll go confirm with HR. Let me know when you do. <laughs> What? You are the new boss here? How is that possible? I'm glad you now know. 
Well, some business partners and I bought the company over six months ago. I wanted it to be a surprise for you and mom, but the boss already knew that the company was bought over. I was able to take all this shit because I knew we were not done with major things. We've been working on some papers to make the transition easy. They only just decided that I had the company a couple of weeks ago. Of course, I'm more than surprised now. But how were you able to afford to be a shareholder in this big company? I have saved every money and bonus I have made and had the opportunity to buy luxury items. But I decided to save for my future. I move with the right people, something you're not good at. I learned about the opportunity from an acquaintance. Wow. You should have told me this. I'm your sister. Did you say sister? With a sister like you, who needs enemies? Seraphine. This was all a mistake. I was coerced into doing this. No. You were blinded by your jealousy. I'm glad you showed your true self. Otherwise, I already planned to make your partner. It's not too late, little sister. Trust me, it is too late. Please forgive me. I promise I'll do better. Please make sure you're already out of my building before I get into the office. You cannot just sack me. That's a wrongful termination. You're supposed to give me some notice. You're right, but since you're a lawyer, you should know that this is a new management and can let go anyone. And he should be lucky that I'm not even suing your ass. Well, I will be suing you. Your former boss shared some deep secrets about this company that can run it down. This is definitely the material for the press. You think I'd care about your lunatic rants? Please, go ahead and do your worst. I'm not sure what you'll do to carry through with my threat. It's not going to be your first empty threat. You think there are empty threats? Well, get to see. I'm not going to lose to you. I have come too far for that to happen. The only way I can stop is that you make me a shareholder. I'd rather die than let that happen. Go fuck yourself. Need more persuasion to turn me into a major shareholder? Hold on. How did you get your hands on these documents? They're classified. I have my methods. It's time we start preparing the paperwork, or else all this information goes public. And you know that won't end well. You can't do that. You signed a non-disclosure agreement. That was with the old company. I'm part of a new one now. You have one week to reconsider your choices. What the heck did you write about my company? Oh, it's good you know that my threats aren't empty at all. But those things aren't true. You can tell that to all of your investors. By the time everyone withdraws their investments, you'll be left with nothing. <laughs> Beverly, don't do this to me. The ball is in your court. Do what you need to do and everything will go away. Otherwise, there's a lot more where that came from. You won't get away with this at all. Let's see who's going to stop me. Mom, you've got to rein Beverly in right now. Where are your manners, young lady? I apologize, but Beverly is driving me crazy. She's on the verge of ruining everything I've worked so hard for. And what have you built other than discord? You refuse to be your sister's keeper. She's not asking for too much, but you've always wanted everything for yourself. Mom, she's the one who betrayed me and got me into this mess. How can you expect me to welcome her into my life? Come on, you brought this upon yourself. If you had read the documents thoroughly, 
you wouldn't be in this predicament. Discovering you had bought the company from us was meant to be a pleasant surprise for the family. Instead, we're left astonished. Just give your sister the shares. I am not going to do that. Then she'll have to take the necessary steps. You're really siding with her. Are you even my mother? I am your mother, and I won't endorse your foolishness. You've clearly chosen a side. I'm sorry I even bothered coming to you. Why am I getting a warning for defamation and blackmail? You can ask when you get to the police station. You think this will make me back down? I know it will make you go. For a long time, I have tolerated your excuses for long. I could have had you arrested for fraud when you tried to implicate, but I didn't because I thought you were my sister. You decided to mess with the business I built for myself. Now, I'm done trying to be a nice girl. It's time for you to dance to the music. You think because you got a warrant against me, I'll be going to jail? <laughs> if I go down, there are more dirty secrets about your firm that will be leaked. I wonder how you could be so dumb and not do the diligence before buying a company. Why did you think they sold it? For someone who was always lucky, I think luck is against you on this. I can imagine the desperation of wanting to be a CEO at a young age. Wake up from the dream, my darling. Your era of being the adorable princess is over. <laughs> I might have made a mistake, but I'll fix it. I already seem to do that. So back up and go to the police station. This is the height of delusion. It's a share or nothing. Well, we'll see how you get those shares in jail, Beverly. Ha! Huh. You wish. Explain why you had my daughter arrested. She didn't bother to tell you why she's behind bars? Fine. I'll fill you in. She's in there for blackmail and character defamation. You need to drop those charges immediately. You don't get to order me around. As your mother, I'm telling you to let go of those charges against your sister. Have you no shame? Shame? That should be directed at you and your spoiled daughter. But you shouldn't be putting your sister in jail. I wish you had given her advice when she was busy sabotaging my life. But you need to forgive her for my sake. Locking her up will only cause her more harm. You've lost any right to ask me to do something for your sake. Where were you when my sister betrayed me and slept with my boss just to get rid of me? Did you consider what that would do to me? I could have ended up in jail for a long time, but my mother didn't seem to care. Your hatred for me was evident. You make it challenging for me to love you. How can I love a child who is so obstinate? You constantly remind me of the pain I endured during childbirth. I can't believe I tolerated you until you grew up. I should have given you up for adoption. This is too much. Don't you have any feelings? Well, I might still find it in me to love you if you release my daughter. You must think I'm foolish enough to fall for her manipulation. I won't. Keep your love to yourself. I don't care anymore. As for Beverly, it's too late for her. She's gonna rot in jail. Show your love to her over there. Hey, Seraphine. Who is this? It's James, your former boss. Oh, hi there. I can see you no longer have my contact anymore. But when do I need it for? Look, I am so, so sorry for what happened. I was manipulated by your sister. <laughs> a full-grown man was manipulated by a young lady? Isn't that interesting? I wanted to reach out to you after you sacked us, but I was just too ashamed. And now? I'm still ashamed, but I need your help more than ever. I should have investigated the whole issue. I was just scared of losing my job. 
I wanted to also impress the new bosses so they would retain me. At my expense, I know you were scared that I would have been chosen over you. So you can argue with my sister to get rid of me. It was very hard tolerating your bullshit for that long, knowing that I was your boss. Well, let's just say there was an opportunity for me to know which staff I could trust. Look, life really, really hasn't been easy for me these past four months. And no one is going to employ someone in my position who just got sacked. The menial jobs were just too difficult. As it is, I have no place to stay. My wife divorced me when she heard about my affair with your sister. She took over all the properties. Seraphine? I have nothing left. I'm sorry I messed with you. I wish I could be sorry for you, but I don't feel any pity for you. You should be lucky you're not in jail with Beverly. What? Beverly is in jail? And except you wish to join her there. I don't want to see you close to me or my company. Please don't mind even being the janitor. I'm so keen on having loyal people work for me, which you don't have. So you don't have a place in my company. Delete my number and get lost. Hello, my love. You've got the wrong person. Your beloved is currently in jail. You can't keep treating me like this. I've recognized my mistakes, and I sincerely apologize for hurting you. No, you're not sorry. You're just hoping I'll replace Beverly. I'm in desperate need of your help. My rent is due. And ever since all this chaos started, you stopped giving me my allowance. Well, Beverly must have been generous with her money. No, she spends her money on luxury items. She never gave me a dime, and you know it. I also have medical bills to pay. My health is deteriorating. Why don't you get a job? I've never needed a job because of you. Well, you might need it now, especially with your extensive wish list. I won't be giving you any more of my money. You can't abandon me. I already have. You can always run to your wonderful daughter. Oh wait, she's in prison. Well, enjoy your life. Seraphine, you can't do this to your mother. Hey, sis. Hi, prisoner. You don't have to rub that in my face. What can I do for you? The time spent in jail made me realize my mistakes. And I'm so sorry. Oh, no offense taken anymore. I checked the house. Mom is no longer there. Our neighbors said that she moved to a shelter. Look, Seraphine. You need to move past this and give us a second chance. Mom, being in a shelter is a stain on your reputation. But nobody knows she's my mother. I need some money and a job. Please. I can do anything. Even a cleaning job will do. I don't have any money for you, and there's clearly no job for you. I'm sure you can join Mum in the shelter home. There will be more space for both of you to bond. I'm sure she missed you. I can't stay in a shelter. Trust me, it is better than a prison. That's your best shot. Or you could sell some dirt on me to the press. Isn't that what you're good at? I can't do that. I don't want to go to jail. Please, Seraphine. I am truly sorry. Go say sorry in hell. Despite the deep wounds inflicted by my family, I persevered. My company thrived with the support of skilled financial analysts who aided in effective risk management. We expanded, establishing branches nationwide. I found love in a wonderful man and together we welcomed a beautiful child. Meanwhile, my mother remains in a shelter. Beverly, now grappling with menial jobs, faces the consequences of the pain she once caused me. Though tempted to extend a helping hand, 
I'm reminded of the hurt they caused, letting them experience the repercussions. As for my boss, he's left the country in shame, facing difficulty in securing employment with no updates since his departure.